With only four games left to play in the regular season, the 6-2 UTSA Roadrunners are making their final push towards the top of Conference USA, and they host the 6-2 Houston Cougars in one of the most pivotal games left on the schedule, and this matchup will decide who will be on top of Conference USA here in Week 10. UTSA playing their final home game of the year. It's senior day here at the Alamo Dome as Eric Hancock leads the runners out of the tunnel. And we are just moments away from the opening kickoff as UTSA looks for win number seven. Last game at the Alamo Dome. Houston and UTSA, it's up next. UTSA has won the toss and has elected to receive. And Zach Morton boots it away. And Danny Moss is back deep away in the kick in his own end zone. About seven yards deep, he takes it out on the far side. 10 to the 15, taken down immediately. Starting receiver Tim Whitaker was a game time decision with an abdominal tear, and he is active split left. Hancock out of the shotgun. He'll throw. Dumps it off underneath. It's caught by Whitaker at the first down marker. First down runners that'll move the chains. New set of down, split shotgun for Hancock this time out to the right. It's Vince Taylor with a couple of blocks that pass the 30 to the 35, taken down for a gain of nine. I formation, handoff, it's Anthony Banks, the senior, right side of the 40, powering his way to the 41 yard line, first down. And now out of the twin tight end set, Hancock will throw again. Open as Whitaker, he has the catch in Houston territory, first down UTSA. Second and six, draw play, delayed to Moss, up the middle, a gain of maybe three yards. Third down and short as UTSA has to get to the 32-yard line for a conversion. Hancock will throw. Four wide over the middle. Jones in front of the safety. Randy Jones, first down to the 15. And now back to the I formation. Richie Battle leads the way. Handoff to Moss. A gain of six yards. A solid pickup on first down. Third down and two. Twin tight ends. Two wide for Hancock. Play action. End zone. Open is Whitaker. Touchdown. I think he's all right. Three catches on this drive, including a seven-yard touchdown pass, and UTSA is off to an impressive start. And now we'll see the Houston offense for the first time today, led by quarterback Doug Young. 28 touchdowns, 14 picks on the season. He's out of the shotgun on first down and 10. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Stevens. That's good for maybe six yards. And now second down and four, a split shotgun look, and he fakes the handoff to Wallace. And now fires it downfield, one on one, intercepted by A.J. Brown at the 27 yard line, UTSA football. And it was just two weeks ago, A.J. Brown had his breakout game with four interceptions and he comes up with another big one here in the first quarter. Excellent start for UTSA, couldn't draw it up much better. Now handoff to Anthony Banks, off tackle, he can't escape and that's gonna be a loss of maybe half a yard. UTSA facing a potential three and out if they can't convert on third and eight. Hancock's throw over the middle is almost intercepted and Houston's defense holds. Great job by the Cougar defense to not even allow a first down for UTSA's impressive drive. Now Young off the play action. He has all day, but everybody's covered. And now here's the pressure. Buster Mitchell with the sack. A loss of eight yards. Time is eventually going to run out, and he should have taken off on that one. UTSA has forced third down at 19 as the crowd gets loud on third down. Young back to pass, going long. He's got a man, it's Wilson in UTSA territory. Dallas misses, and it's a touchdown for the Cougars. Just a simple streak downfield, and Kyle Wilson got behind the safety, and Dallas Johnson couldn't catch up. We're all tied up here in the Alamo Dome. Still first quarter, 129 to play. Hancock takes the snap. He'll go over the middle, short to Randy Jones. Cuts up field, first down UTSA. A single back formation, Darren Rose is slot right. Handoff Banks, right up the gut, looks for running room, and he finds about seven yards. First down and 10 with Stevens in motion. Stretch play left, it's Banks. And he has a little bit of room, but a flag comes in after a gain of maybe four as Banks may be hurt, and it's a holding penalty on top of it. It looks like Banks may have had the wind knocked out of him as Danny Moss is in the game on first and 16. Hancock to throw open, he's got a man, it's Whitaker inside the 30. First down, UTSA again. It's great to have this guy back in the lineup. Second down and 10. Handoff, it's Danny Moss running off tackle on the sweep and another flag is down. This could be another holding call, and it is. It's Javon Morris for the second time on this drive. Third down and 14 following the flag. 4.36 to play in the second. Hancock steps up, doesn't like what he sees, dumps it underneath, and it's intercepted by Davis. And he bobbled it and made the catch. They'll say it did not touch the ground. I don't know if he secured his hands underneath it, but that was a very tough play. 
And the ball will stay in the possession of Houston. Big turnover there at 7-7 here in the second quarter. Doug Young to throw. Plenty of protection. Only a three-man rush from UTSA. Underneath coming back to the football. It's caught by Allen, and that's a first down for the Cougars. 4.22 to go in the second now. First down and 10. Outside, Young's got a man. It's Wallace. First down. He got a foot down in UTSA territory. New set of downs again, three wide for Young. It's a screen pass, and he fumbles the ball, and it's picked up by Anthony Allen, and he'll go all the way for a UTSA defensive touchdown. Young wanted the screen and did not get set up quickly, and Kellen Thomas forced the fumble. The knee was not down, and UTSA avenges that interception. 14-7, Roadrunners. 4-10 to go now in the second quarter as UTSA shows blitz and stacks the box. They're bringing it. Young hit on the play. He goes deep, and it's caught. No, it's dropped by Wilson in UTSA territory. Wilson almost did it again. UTSA caught a break there. Second down and 10. This time the blitz is picked up by the tailback. Outside is Wilson underneath, and he has a boat enough for the first down. Now facing third down and 10. They have to get to the 46-yard line. Young. He'll go over the middle, a touch pass to Wilson, first down in UTSA territory to the 45 yard line. Second down and short, Young. Play action, he'll throw. In the pocket with all day, downfield. He's got Wilson again towards the sideline, first down. It's the Young and Wilson connection tearing apart this secondary. And now on second and goal, Young underneath the Jones and a solid tackle made by AJ Brown. Third down and goal as UTSA tries to prevent a touchdown. Young, he'll throw, extra blockers in to the end zone, intercepted, it's A.J. Brown, UTSA steals it out of the air, and Brown comes through with a key turnover here with 2.33 to go in the second quarter. A.J. Brown is emerging as a new star for the Roadrunners. And now from the one yard line, can UTSA get out of their own end zone? It's Richie Battle up the middle, off the fullback dive, look at him go to the 19 yard line, but a flag is down. Holding again on the road. Runners will go right back to battle, though. And this time takes up maybe five yards. A little bit of breathing room as it's second down and five. I formation. Blocks in front of Banks. He has room across the 20. Driven out of bounds to the 23. Third down and eight for Hancock. Trying to get to the 32-yard line for a first down. Rolling to his right under pressure on the run. It's nearly intercepted. And UTSA just cut another break. Houston's defense holds. 120 to play in the second quarter as Houston is down by seven and they'll throw on second down and five. Wallace over the middle has the catch in UTSA territory. New set of downs. Sanders to the right of Young and Young throws again. Over the middle, it's caught by Wallace wide open. Evades defenders with his agility inside the 25. First down to the 19. Inside the red zone of 45 seconds to play in the first half. Young. To the end zone, he wants it all. It's caught by Ellen, but he was not inbounds. UTSA brings out a three-man front to their nickel package. Young to throw on third down. Moving to his right now, goes to the end zone with a lob, and it's knocked away at the last second by Jason Holmes. And we'll go to the half. UTSA up by four, 14 to 10, a hard-fought Conference USA clash. The second half is up next, and we'll see who can take control of first place in Conference USA. The Cougars have it to open up the second half as UTSA leads 14 to 10 here from the Alamo Dome, UTSA's final home game. Young to pass, he goes outside, has Allen over the shoulder, first down across the 45. A full house pistol look on first down as Allen takes the handoff and he has some room and Mike Butler is there for the first down carry. Houston trying to keep the UTSA defense honest with the ground game, but they know they want to go deep. Young over the middle, it's caught by Allen underneath and that is a first down. A single high safety look for UTSA as they stack the box and now back off. Young fires, slant, caught inside the 15, and he's down to the 10 yard line, first and goal. And now they're knocking on the door, second down, handoff to Sanders, up the middle, and he has a touchdown for Houston as they take the lead, 16 to 14. Houston has their first lead of the game, and Zach Martin boots it deep. Danny Moss in his own end zone, he fields the kick about six yards deep, he'll take it out on the near side. Gets a couple of blocks up to the 30 and taken down across the 33. We'll see if UTSA can answer back. Hancock quickly outside to Jones and he is tackled for an 11-yard gain. Third down and one. UTSA looking to convert for the first down. Banks up the middle. He's close and he did move the chains. 
Now facing another third down. UTS has to get to the Houston 47. Hancock underneath. He has Jones in the drag. Big block from Stevens across the 40 to the 30 down to the 25-yard line. And the yards after the catch were set up by Trevor Stevens. A big block at the 43-yard line. UTSA now facing hopefully a field goal at the very least. First down and 10. Option to the right. Hancock pitches. Banks. What a nasty juke. He made a man miss. Inside the 20. First down and more. Dives. He loses the football and Houston has recovered inside the five yard line. Anthony Banks lost a grip as he tried for that last couple extra yards. And what was such a nice run is now a turnover and Houston will take over. And here it is again. Anthony just dives and the ball is punched out. Cougar football. Clutch play by Houston's defense. And now out of the end zone in the shotgun. It's a handoff on the jet sweep to Wallace. And that's close to a safety. That's a risky play call. Houston out of the shotgun again on third and 12. They're going for another jet sweep and Wallace is down in the end zone. It's a safety. I don't know what they were thinking with those play calls. UTSA puts another two points on the board. Well, that's one way to avenge the fumble. And now UTSA is only down by a single point and Hancock will throw off his back foot. He's got Banks coming across the middle, but he will lose four yards. Third down and 14, looking at a three and out potentially if they can't get to the 44 of Houston. Outside, it's Whitaker, what a nice throw, perfect route. And Hancock put that on the money. Here it is one more time. It was a back shoulder curl, and the corner just had no idea where Whitaker went. Huge conversion for UTSA, and now Hancock will throw quickly. It's cut by Stevens on the first down marker, and he will convert. Third down and eight, four wide, including Robert Stanley slot right. Hancock all day, over the middle, deep, intercepted by Williams at the one yard line. Another big turnover in this matchup as Williams makes a very impressive play on the ball. And Houston has it again. They are up by one point, 102 to play in the third quarter. Young and his pass is knocked away by Jason Holmes. Third down and 10, UTSA called an audible, and now over the middle, pass is almost picked off as Buster Mitchell dropped back into his zone. The story of this game has to be the missed opportunities on turnovers by both sides. Second down and five, it's Danny Moss. To counter play to the right, that's maybe three yards. A big conversion attempt here on third down and two. Hancock hands off, Moss up the middle, and he will just get enough for the first down. Key conversion there as UTSA has control now on first down. Hancock in the pocket to the sideline, overthrows an open receiver that was Whitaker. Third down and 10 for UTSA. They have to get to their own 49 yard line. Hancock out of the shotgun. He's gonna take a shot deep and it's Randy Jones laying out for the first down catch. He made it. First down UTSA inside the Houston 10. What a catch by Randy Jones. Wow, a jaw-dropping catch by Randy Jones and now inside the 10. Hancock, he's got Stevens met at the 10 yard line and he won't get too far. Third down and goal. UTSA only needs a field goal to take the lead. Hancock being patient now rolls out under pressure and he's sacked for a loss. James Benson will attempt a 32 yard field goal to give UTSA the lead. Here's the snap, it's down left hash. Kick is up, it is good. UTSA back on top. 19 to 17 here in the fourth quarter. Five minutes to go. Houston only needs a field goal to retake the lead. 440 to play. First down and 10. Young hands off at Sanders. Jukes now breaks a tackle. But there's Dominic Carter. He won't get any yards. Second down and 10. Hand off at Sanders again. And Dallas Johnson is run over. But once again, Kyle Jones is there. And Sanders gets no yards and maybe shaken up. And the crowd gets loud on third down for the defense. Third down and 10. Young lobs it deep. Jump ball. It's tipped. Intercepted by Butler. Did he make that catch? On the return to the 40. Across midfield. Down at the Houston 49-yard line. And Mike Butler just made Doug Young pay. And this could be the second controversial interception call on the day. Another key turnover. Now can UTSA start running this clock down inside four minutes? Hancock, he's gonna lob it outside for Stevens. It's tipped away. He made the catch, but he was out of bounds. Second down and 10 out of the shotgun. It's a draw this time to Moss. Up the gut, using his strength, he may have the first down. No first down for Moss. I formation, handoff, it's Richie Battle, a fullback. He plows forward for three yards and a first down. And UTSA just trying to end this game. And Moss outside on the pitch, and this will lose three yards. 
Houston does have all three timeouts, so Hancock has to get some plays. Over the middle, it's caught by Rose, who takes a shot, but he has a 10-yard catch. Third down and two, 2.16, two timeouts to go for Houston. Hancock throwing, slant cut by Darren Rose again, shy of the 20 yard line, but it's a first down. And UTSA could be one first down away from sealing this game. Hancock over the middle and he's behind Stevens who may have had a touchdown. I formation, Battle and Moss behind Hancock and here's the handoff, it's Moss running behind Battle, gets a couple blocks and he has the first down and that'll do it. UTSA has knocked off the Houston Cougars and now is in control of first place in Conference USA for the first time in team history. UTSA now sits at 7-2. Their most wins ever in school history is 8. There are three games left and UTSA is facing a tough stretch following their upcoming bye week. But for now, they can celebrate as they have this victory against Houston, a big win at home to close out their last game at the Alamo Dome this season. But they'll go into the bye and prepare for three straight road games against Rice, Louisiana Tech, and the I-35 rivalry against Texas State. And that'll close up the season. So three games left in the year for UTSA, a big win here in Week 10. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in week 12 against Rice.